this is a bombing guide that I wanted to do for you guys. Um, some of the guys have been asking about, you know, how to be more effective at bombing, and I just wanted to show some of the things that I do. Some of the things that others do may be better, but I just want to show you this. Uh, one of the first things you want to do is make sure your gunner um, tabs, your gunner slots for the crew you're using is maxed out. And, you know, do whatever you can to, if you, if you have to use accelerated training or whatever, but max those out. Even qualifying them helps uh, tremendously because if your gunners aren't doing what they're supposed to do, which is, you know, defend you, uh, then you're going to have trouble. A lot of the maps, Sicily is a good one for bombing. Uh, I know it gets boring playing the same old map over and over, but you can really get good at it by, by doing the same one. And Sicily has a lot of good static, uh, has more static objects than it does moving tanks. So it's actually good for high tier bombing. We'll do low tier on tanks later. First thing you want to do is you don't want to run right out there uh, or go way off to the side. I know that's a popular thing. And you, given the map, that may be the best tactic. But for a map like this, you, you, you want to you know, do a little circling of the air base. You want to make sure that the fighters are out in front of you. Because what they'll do is they'll engage uh, the enemy and, and, and the enemy will focus on them instead of you. Because if you run right out there, obviously you're going to be the first first thing they see and first thing they go for, and you don't want that. You want to be the last plane on the server, and, um, you know, there's no perfect plan. It doesn't always work, but for the most part, it does work, and you just want to get those guys ahead of you. Now, here we are. We've traveled over, uh, and I'm looking down. I can see uh, a DO-217 and a 109 kind of shooting some ground targets, which, you know, I'm going to have people doing that, but there's still plenty of targets down there. Don't get stressed out. Point is, is, you're focusing not on fighting or what anybody else is doing. You're only focusing on what you're doing. And you'll notice that I've extended my combat flaps and I press the bracket key to extend my flaps to take off. You can see that in the lower left there. And what that does is that gives more stability to the plane. And you'll also notice that I've never used the bombing radical. I'm doing all this in third person. Also, you'll notice that the camera is above the plane instead of behind it. And I've used, on my numpad, I press the number 2 to raise the camera. Pressing 5 will bring it back to center. But that allows me to see the reticle without being in the reticle, without being in the bomb reticle. It allows me to see the, the floating crosshair below me. And uh, you just want to get, you zoom in with my mouse wheel, and you just want to get in a, uh, Pick a path here, but you don't want a whole lot of movement. So you're, you're patient, and you'll notice we start out with 18 bombs, and there's the first drop. Now, I miss uh, the next few, but that's okay. There's more across the lane. So instead of st sitting here and circling and circling and becoming a target, as you see the Spitfire zooming away, uh, zooming down to get the 109 there, I'm heading directly for. As you can see, a line of targets in front of me. Now, there's the first strike. You saw it come up. Um, and I wasn't that accurate. And, and for whatever reason, this type of uh, using the third person view, um, you don't have to be dead center. With the reticle, it seems like you have to be dead center. And this way you don't. You notice I nose down. Uh, you also want to keep an eye on your altitude at all times. And you'll know you're flying flat, flat and level when the altitude doesn't go up or down. So you want to keep that in mind. Because flying with the camera up above you can sometimes be disoriented. So get used to tracking your altitude. And I just went across there. I just picked a flight path that didn't have a whole lot of turns. Hitting whatever was, was available. And you're going to start to see. Uh, and you also notice the vertical is not dead center to those. So let's see here. Let's see how many I got. Um, we'll have to wait for it. Now we get the indication that the enemy has destroyed all our spotter planes. And basically what that means is if you get too far away from the ground targets, you just won't see the little red icon. You'll have to be really close to them to see them. But in that run, we now have 
10 strikes, but only, remember only had 18 bombs, which means two of those bombs took out two targets. And these are 250 pound bombs. They're really not that huge. But the point being is we didn't have to kill ourselves trying to be super, super accurate. Um, we were able to, to, to get multiple strikes with two bombs. So um, we're doing pretty good. Now, obviously, with the uh, spotters being down, I can't do a whole lot. But here's, I've got a fighter on me, I've got a spitfire on me. But I'm letting my, my gunners do their job. You see, I'm focused on bombing. I'm dropping another bomb. Even with even with him coming down on me there, I'm focused on bombing. And I'm, and I'm not all that accurate. But I want you to watch what happened. He's got me leaking here. Let's see where he's at. There he is. He's above me. Now, the only reason I'm looking is because I just want to see. There was, I recorded another hit. It was 13. That means I got three more, even under duress and under attack. And of course, you know, what's coming down, he set my engine on fire. And I'm also going to dump all my, all my uh, bombs as I go down because you can get lucky, as you'll see right at the end here. I get lucky. And uh, one more. There it is. I got lucky with one more strike. So I got 14 uh, out of 18, and a couple of those were multiple, multiple hits. And, uh, and so that's basically what I do every run. And um, you can, you can, you know, that there's, there's no perfect way, but this is just the way I do it. And uh, you guys may find using the reticles better and using other techniques. But basically, you want to uh, start out letting the fighters get ahead of you. When you get near the bombing radicals, the second step is you want to put out your combat flaps and hit your bracket and put down your takeoff flaps. That's two stages. That gives you more stability. And just focus on the bombing. Don't worry about that. And you'll see this is just, a, this is just an average, not a very good game, but I got 14 strikes. And I made, what's it, 30... Uh, over 30,000 lines off of that off of that one uh, little run there, and, and I repair it. And uh, and as you can see from some of the other battles that I've done using this this same method. Um, uh, well, let's click on the battles tab there. Uh, you got one for 32, one for 34. There's one for 90,000. Now that was with Again, this is with a premium plane. You know, the Wellington for the Germans is a premium plane, but it's still a very good uh, tactic. So, there you go.